Welcome all to Cricket Analysis. A great day for Indian cricket. The second string side of India beat Sri Lanka yesterday in the first ODI. In the three-match ODI series being held in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bat first. Skipper of India Shikhar Dhawan said that he would have also chosen to bat first. It was expected that Sri Lanka would put a big total on the board as the pitch was favouring the batsmen and Sri Lanka had also won the toss and were batting first. Sri Lanka started gracefully and the openers Avishka Fernando and Minod Bhanuka, the keeper of the side, were looking in good touch. But we know the Sri Lankan team. They can collapse any time. After a great 55-ball, 49-run opening partnership, Chihar took the wicket of Avishka Fernando. Then came in Bhanu, Bhanuka Rajapaksa, who started with a very aggressive approach and was looking like he wanted to just keep continuing like this. But then came in the left arm and orthodox bowler to the EPR. He took the wickets of Minot and Rajapaksa in the same over as his impressive bowl. Then other batsmen on the side of Sri Lanka held their reach 262 in the end. The main reason behind this was Chamika Karuna Ratni's 35 ball 43 and that they got 52 in the last five overs. Deepak Chahar, Iswini Chahar and Kuldeep Yadav took two wickets each. Kranal Pandey was also phenomenal with the ball. He took a wicket and that too of Dhananjaya Di Silva and had a great economy of 2.6, although he bowled full 10 overs. So now India had to chase 263 in 50 balls. Prithvi Shaw and Captain Dhawan came on to bat. The way Prithvi Shaw was playing was extremely delightful. Anyone can watch the highlights of this innings a hundred times. It was looking like Sir Virendra Seva was back in blue colours. Shaw was playing as if it was a T20i. He hit 9 fours out of which 7 were on the offside. And the finesses and the beauty of his cover drive and check drive was just amazing. However, unfortunately, he fell to Dhananjaya D. Silva of a very tempting ball. He was looking to hit a six but couldn't connect and the ball landed safely in the fielder's hands. Shaw got out in 43 in 24 balls. And that was brilliant captaincy by Dasan Chan. Because bringing in a spinner in the first power play when Shaw is playing wonderfully was a very big risk. But De Silva delivered and finally Sri Lanka bring a sigh of relief. But no. When Shaw got out, the ODI debutant Ishan Kishin walked in. He had a very good looking six on his very first ball of ODI cricket. And from there, he didn't stop. He continued hitting while Shikhar Dhawan at the other end was supporting him. From then, the chase was, was very easy for the Indians and it was looking like a one sided match after the first 20 overs of the innings. Kishin got out on 59 of 42 balls and then came in the 31 year old Manish Pandey, who stitched a 72 run partnership alongside Dhawan. However, he also got out, but at a time where Shikhar Dhawan alone could chase the remaining goal. Another ODI debutant, Surya Kumar Yadav, came in and helped India win the game by scoring quick 31 of 20 balls. Shikhar Dhawan remained not out on 86. Prithvi Shaw was named the man of the match. Now we will talk about Shikhar Dhawan's flaw. Shikhar is usually known as an aggressive opener, who uses the power play wonderfully and keeps hitting four every now and then. But what happened in this game? We have talked about the team that has gone to Sri Lanka. It's a very inexperienced team. And only a few of them have some experience of ODI cricket. Now, if you look at the batting lineup, there was Shaw, who has played only three ODI before this game, and two new debutants, Surya Kumar and Ishan Kishan. So, Dhawan being the most experienced batsman as well as the skipper, he knew he had to be the one who has to stay to the end and support the youngsters. And that is why he was playing carefully and not looking for bounties. Rather, he was giving the freedom of hitting to Shaw, Kishan and Surya. Eventually, he did reach his 85. This is what a great skipper and batsman is. Salute to Shikhar Thawar. So this was today's video. The next ODI will be tomorrow and Crick Analysis will also be giving a video about that. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.